It's Newcastle United against Brentford and I have to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about this one. It's coming up. Welcome back, it's Eddie here from Tyneside Life here, so Brentford today, a really dangerous side on their day, they can be a little bit inconsistent, but they are a tough side under Thomas Frank, uh, I mean they're missing Ivan Tony, but they've got Wissa and Mbwemo knocking some goals in, they can be a little bit leaky in defence, but on the back of three straight defeats we cannot afford to lose this game to make it four, especially heading off to Milan. Uh, for that Champions League game on Tuesday. So I am, I have to be honest, a bit nervous about this one. We took a bit of a hangover from Liverpool down to Brighton and Brighton were excellent on the day and just absolutely turned us over. Um, so a bit of a, a quandary for Eddie Howe, I think, in this match with team selection. We've got one or two niggles. I think Miggy might be carrying a knock still. Botman, uh, I, th I think he might have passed a late fitness test, but we've also got Tenali as well. With that muscle injury, I'm not entirely sure I'm convinced about that, if I'm honest. So, plus as well, there has to be some squad rotations because of this bank of four games that we've got coming up, which are absolutely crucial. Brentford, of course, AC Milan away, Sheffield United away on the Sunday, followed by Man City in the Carabao Cup. So there has to be some squad rotations. So Eddie House mentioned in his press conference that he wasn't going to make wholesale changes, but he said he's not going to be afraid to change any players who just aren't performing at the minute. So... I've actually put together a team who I think Eddie might select, not necessarily who I want to be playing today. Based on niggles, based on a potential for squad rotation and in defence I have the, the usual suspects, Trippier, Shaw, Botman and uh, Bur Dan Byrne at left back. I've gone for Longstaff coming in for Tenali if he's still got this knock. Bruno, Bruno in the middle, I hope Bruno starts pulling it together soon for whatever reason, his head just hasn't been quite in it. And there's no room for error when you're not quite in it. Eddie Howe intimated that. He might be lacking a little bit of confidence, but he had a, a good trip away with the Brazil team, played well. So hopefully he's going to be back to full confidence. And I went for Elliot Anderson instead of Joe Linton, because in my opinion, Joe Linton has been underperforming so far. And Elliot Anderson had a superb um, pre-season tour in America, one of our better players. And he's been chomping at the bit, so I think Elliot Anderson will come in on the left-hand side. I think Harvey Barnes needs some some proper game time. Um, I think he might rest Gordon for Milan. So I was a bit undecided about Gordon. I put um, Jacob Murphy on the right, but I think there's a chance that Gordon might play or he might rest him for Milan. I'm not sure. And Wilson, obviously Wilson is paid off being on the bench. He deserves a crack at centre-half. And I think he'll save Isaac for Milan. So that's my start in 11. Um, let's chat to some supporters and see what they think. Hello, um, my name is Dan. Um, I think Newcastle are going to win 5-1. Um, I'm Paul uh, from the area. I now live in uh, Texas in America. And I'm just out for a couple of weeks and going to the game today. First time I've been back in about seven and a half years. So I'm um, looking forward to it. And uh, this is Graham. Met him in New Jersey at the Summer Series at the Brighton game. Yeah. So we've just met up today and uh, I managed to bag a ticket from his son. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your son's ticket, yeah. So it's good. No, no, no. It's all legit. It's, it's all, all legit. Linked. All it's all been linked. passed. All that, yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm going for a 3-1 win. Yeah. Got to be optimistic, haven't we, this time? Got to be, yeah. Yeah. See I mean, we've got to come back strong after the previous games. And I know it's been talked about at length. But I think um, we did well against Villa, top team. I think Liverpool, I think we played them off the park. We just lost it in the end. Man City was a great score considering it was away at the Emirates. Yeah. Um, it was just Brighton we fell down against. Right. So I think they're going to come back after the international break and I think we're going to do well. Uh, Callum. Callum. Are oh, we going to win the day? I think we will, you know. I, do, I feel like um, I think Wilson's going to bag a couple of goals in because I think apparently he might be starting the day. All right, okay. I, I think so. I don't know. It's like the rumblings I've heard on Twitter, you know what Twitter's like. But honestly, I think if, if Wilson starts the day, bang a couple of goals, I've heard possibly Barnes and Gordon playing. And I just feel like we'll win the day and we'll be on like a good path to get um, to Milan on Tuesday. Aye. We need it, like, we've got uh, tough four games coming up. I re reckon Longstaff will start. Longstaff will score first, Barnes will score yes. second. Yep, and then Wilson scored third. Yeah. Because well, Brentford as well, they're a tough side. I know, but like, it just gone, but I think we played them this time last year, didn't we? And we beat them 5-1 it was. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind a, 
a repeat Something of that. Similar, yeah. uh, but then, as you say, I think they, they've, they've started well. They're a, they're a good team. Um, but I think we, we just need the win, man. I think we win today on a high into Milan, smash Milan. Class man, how are the lads? Jobs are good. Jobs are good, my eye. Right, I'm Matthew, I'm from uh, Fenham, and I think we're going to win 3 1 today. Who you think? Uh, I think it's going to be 3 0. Team sheets are out, come on, I'm only one out. They've got Gordon on the right instead of Murphy. Not bad at all. I didn't know uh, Joel Linton has got Go some on, sort of got some sort of knee problem, so he isn't even in the squad. So just like the Villa match first game of the season, I was one out. So how am I feeling about that? Um, it'll be interesting to see how Bruno links up with Longstaff again. Um, they've been struggling a little bit in midfield for whatever reason. Longstaff probably not the full fitness either, so it's going to be interesting to see. I'm still a bit nervous about the day, to be honest. Um, because I think the crowd are going to be nervous if we don't have an early goal. But actually, me honestly, my honest view is I think it's going to be a draw today. But of course, we're perfectly capable of turning them over and getting a comfortable win. And I hope we do one, obviously. But I'm going to go for a draw 1 1 or 2 2. Brentford seem to be draw specialists this season so far. So anyway, heading into the ground. And I'll catch you after the match with some reactions. Oh, wow. 1 0. I said before the game. I felt a bit nervous, that was a nervous performance I thought, a nervous crowd, but I think we're just about edged it to win 1-0 and get them three points, but boy did we make hard work of that, but I think you have to give some a lot of credit to Brentford as well because they were set up to play a game that neutralised us and for large sections of that game they did exactly that and they had one or two chances where they could have scored in the 92nd minute I think, it might have been um, Guamo who had a point blank header, I could have made it 1-1 one, one there, but uh, <laughs> two, two. just about did it, got those three points did in, it did it, boy, did we need that, because uh, I thought it might have been a draw, but what a relief going into that man Milan match with three points behind, we're, and uh, okay, come on. six points now, uh, let's see what the fans think, what do you think of that? I'll be on Monday, Eddie. All right, <laughs> I'll be on Milan on Monday. You were your course, eh? Aye? Not about your Christmas presents, eh? What do you think of that? Uh, a good game. It's class. A good game? Oh, well, yeah. Nervous game? Yeah. Yeah. Think we just about deserved it? Yeah. The last yeah. nine minutes was harsh. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Who was your man of the match? Um, Nick Pope. Nick Pope? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, What's your name? Stuart. What do you think of that? I thought we played well today, right? I was, it was always about the three points today, I thought, you know what I mean? It wasn't about how we played, but it's three points, you know what I mean? Good nervy, three. wasn't it? Very nervy, yeah, very nervy. Yeah. Who was your man of the match? Um, probably Gordon, I think he did. I thought, I thought he played all right, you know what I mean? He's got the crowd behind him as well, which is a good thing as well, so... You off to Milan? Oh, yeah, am I, yeah. Right, I'll see you there. See you there. Cheers. Get it! Come on! What's your name? I'm um, Tarek. Tarek? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think of that? Uh, it was a tough game, but I'm glad uh, we won. But it was a tough, tough one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you from? Can you guess? What do you think? Can you guess? Oh, so Saudi Arabia. Close enough from Sudan. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, but yeah. I was born and uh, raised in Saudi. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Nice hard. Hard, it was hard work, did not it? Was. I draw written all over that. that didn't it? Discussion. It was discussion. Uh, what is? Yeah. Going the game just didn't flow, did it? No, no, no. No uh, running well, listen, nobody's here for Tuesday, and it's, uh, come on, bring on Tuesday. Are you going there, are you? No, nah, can I? I'm not. Oh. You, I know you're going, and oh. you have a good time. What do you think of that? Well, come on in here. I think we could have done, but I think we could have scored from open play. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. from open, wait, we can score from open play, but we don't. Go on. But who cares? Three points is three points, isn't it? Well, three points. We need as long as we points. get three points, I don't even give a shit. <laughs> three <laughs> points is three points. Well said. Dylan, tell us what, what do you think of that? Do you know what it is, man? I don't actually think we're playing very well. We won the game, but I don't think we're playing very well. I think after, just before the goal, I think he probably should have made a sub. And he should have stuck with it and made the sub after the goal and went for the second. Yeah. But yeah, now it is. We won the game. What, what can happen, do you know what I mean? We won the game and that's all that really matters. But I don't think we're playing very well. <laughs> I have to agree, actually. I yeah. don't think we played very well, yeah, yeah. but we won the game, and that's all that matters, really. But uh, anyone that's fucking sorry, anyone that's giving him any any stick, though, stick behind anyhow. He's the man for the job. 
anyone that's given him any sort of like stick, come off it, man. He's the man. He's, he's the man. You're all going to best man, man with a job. Yeah, no, but anyone that's given him any, 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 anything, he's got with, uh, he's got with where we need to go. No one give him any stuff because he's the man. I'm telling you, he's, yeah. what he's done that club. Unreal. Yeah, yeah. But we didn't play well today. But three points. That's all that matters. Definitely. Nice to meet you, mate. And you, mate. See cheers. Yeah, my sentiments actually. That was. Um, you can't really. You, it's hard to put your finger on what's just not quite working with the team today because we didn't play very well. It wasn't very fluid. I think it took us 25 minutes to get into their into their penalty box. It was. Yes, yeah, it's just so hard to put your finger on it. Just lacking that. That crucial decision wasn't quite there. That that pass just wasn't quite there. Their attack just seems to break down. But that lad was just right there. You know, we shouldn't get on top of the manager. We shouldn't get on top of the the, the you know the players and the manager and start criticising that we've got the wrong midfield. You know, and Bruno isn't good enough, and Bruno and Tonali don't work together, and Eddie Howe isn't the right manager, and Miggy's rubbish. It's all negative Dude, bail, guys. Man. <coughs> Hello, mate. Again, we'll have to get behind them. You know, we're entitled to our opinions about the poor performance, you know, but got to get behind this side. We're going through a sticky patch for whatever reason, but we'll come out of it. We don't need to catastrophize, you know, every poor um, performance. Uh, and defeat we we'll scrape through the day we'll come out of this little sticky patch I believe and go on from strength to strength and stuff Milan 6-0